Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at proper scan distances and uh, some different techniques for scanning vehicles. So as you can see, we've got a fully registered project here. We've got a project point cloud created, which enables us to have a clip box. This clip box temporarily will eliminate walls, roof, any kind of data that you deem necessary. In this case, we just want to look down inside of this building and take a look at the um, vehicle that was scanned. Now, as you can see, uh, we've got multiple scan locations around it. As in uh, the small scan uh, 3D little icons that are placed. And we've got front end damage in the vehicle. So what they've done in this particular scan is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scan locations. As you can see, you've got the top of the screen here is your broadside scan, which is matched by the bottom of the screen broadside scan. We've got on the uh, corners over here, just to the uh, left rear quarter panel, this is going to capture another version of this uh, broadside of the vehicle as well as some of the rear. Then you've got a rear scan which is capturing uh, just the rear of the vehicle. And you've got another quarter panel scan. Again, you're capturing the rear and broadside which helps this uh, rear scan connect to the broadside scan. You've got a broadside scan on the bottom here. Now, as uh, we have a lot of people call and ask us, you know, if we've got more detail we're trying to capture on the front of a vehicle, is it okay if we do more scans? Yes, it is. Um, it's not going to hurt anything to do a few extra scans. And in this case, the scans, as you can see, down here to our right-hand corner, uh, they've reduced the height of the scanner. So this uh, scanner uh, just here which would be in the center of your screen. Uh, there's your around maybe five feet high. They're trying to capture front end damage, so they did a couple of scans, maybe at about 24 inches off the ground. Um, you can see that because that damage was on the front of the vehicle, they've got two separate locations that are about 24 inches off the ground, and this gives them different angles um, into uh, the, the front end of the vehicle. From different angles you're going to be able to not have the kind of shadowing that you would have if you were uh, going to be just maybe scanning from direct on in the front. So having multiple angles around uh, your damage points and multiple heights uh, should give you uh, much more detail uh, and much less shadowing than if you were to not do that. Now to actually do some measuring, let's take a look at what the distances were between the scans and the vehicle. If we just go directly from the top. <clears throat> so now that we've got some measurements in, about 2.3 meters from the broadside here, closer to 3 than the other side, doesn't really matter. I think it was more among, uh, because of the amount of uh, stuff inhibiting where you could set the scanner on this side. But anywhere around that three, two to three meter range is just fine around the vehicle. You can see in the front uh, where there was more detail needed, you know, you're a meter and a half. Uh, you know, as long as you're not, you know, a foot away from something or, you know, 50, 60 feet away, you're going to end up with some excellent data. I hope this helps you out with a uh, future project. If you have any questions, please email us at info at Atlantic Laser Scanning. We appreciate it. Thank you.